1957 Chevy Cameo truck. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? People see us everywhere. They think we really care. But I know it's only make-believe, and you won't believe what's in this box as we go down and check it out. Welcome back to another truck video. We have the 57 Chevy Cameo truck from AMT Ertl, and this kit came out in 1998 from the company. And again, this is one of those ones where they were competing with Ravel Monogram to see which company could build a better, more detailed model kit. So these trucks are a real treat. I bought this one at the Canadian Superstore back in February of 2002 for $6.97. Now, Canadian Superstore is a grocery store and they don't sell these anymore. And I do believe the current pricing for 2018 is about $30, $32 Canadian. But these kits are worth it. They give you a list of all the colors that the car would come in. Chevrolet engine red, gloss black, and they're all lettered. Those refer to things like this. The part A on your engine block is going to become Chevy engine red, etc, etc. Gloss black, so on. This is the stock air cleaner. I always love those kind of things. They were an oil-based air cleaner, full of oil, and instead of a paper filter. So your air went through an oil bath to be cleaned to go into the carburetor. And a very nice representation of the Chevy engine of that era. And then here they give you a chart for figuring out your uh, car body color, your truck body color, as well as the accents, so jet black, bombay, ivory, and cardinal red, and your interiors. And then there is a two-piece type wheel going together, wheel tire and wheel backs, so three pieces really. Uh, dashboard, the seat, this actually folds up and down. This thing here is the fuel cell, which goes in the back. Your gas tank basically then your engine going into this nice ladder frame as well as the front suspension and rear suspension it's funny it's got a solid axle sort of like a model t or earlier chevrolets actually more like earlier chevrolets because it doesn't have a transverse mounted front spring there's our interior going together with separate side windows and the um, truck bed which has those streamlined sides. They're not a step side. This is quite a cool truck too. 1957, lots of chrome. Opening hood with hood hinges for that extra detail. And then this, the chrome pieces, the decorations go on all separately, as well as the Chevy 3124 emblem, denoting what type of truck this was. And then of course the assembly onto the back. Now let's take a look at the actual plastic components, starting with our cab. And as you can see, a nice crisp detail. Um, they didn't put the dome light and the padded part on the roof, unlike the 57 Chevy uh, sedans. <laughs> Sorry, temporary lapse here. I think I need more Coca-Cola or something. But anyway, okay. And then our hood, the hood for this year was unique from the 55 hood because it had these extra chrome bits on here, much like the car. Okay, so you can see how good that fit was. Now here is the interior. Unfortunately, it's a bucket. It's not separate like the cars, although there's a hinge for the seat, so it can fold. And there's our fuel cell there, the steering wheel, wheel. The dashboard is quite nice and detailed, as you can see there. And the seats have a special pattern on them. Now, AMT also brought out a 55, 1955 version of this truck. And the upholstery in that one is different. 
and so is the grill. Unfortunately, all mine are semi-built, the 55s, so I couldn't do a what's in the box there. Properly show you what is in the box. Hard to tell when you got an engine block glued together, you know, <laughs> sort of thing. Here is the engine and the rear axles and uh, the springs, of course. You can see some very nice crisp detail on that engine. Then we have our glass components, nice and clear. It would have been nice if they put this in a bag to avoid any scratches from parts rattling around inside the box. And now we have some of the wheel backs and those exhaust pipes, the unique um, components for our truck bed and there's our solid axle in the front next up is the ladder frame and as you can tell it's pretty nicely detailed for what it is these are the side pieces for our truck bed the side rear fenders and there's a lot of nice detail there. This is where the two-tone color comes in, right along there. Looks like from here I've kind of opened up and removed some of the parts, as you can tell. We have our tires, which are the Firestone tires. You will have to paint the white walls in there if you want white walls. Here we have the pickup truck bed, and as you can tell, there's some nice wood grain in there, as well as the metal rails. This is our little sun visor that goes on top of the cab. And then we have our firewall here with some very nice detail and a little shelf for the battery to sit on. And finally, they give us three license plates. 3124 from Georgia, the Nevada Cameo, and it looks like a Tennessee license plate, 810816. And that brings us to the end of our review of the AMT Ertl 1957 Chevy Cameo kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at this 57 Chevy Cameo pickup truck. A real innovation at the time. And if you'd like to see what other cool model cars I have available, please check out our website, www.monster-hobbies.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel right down here so you can see more amazing unboxings and check out these three videos to see what else we got. And until next time, keep it real.